care of magical creatures class is just through that gate. Ah! No! Um, and that must be a pixie infestation. Um, when you three have finished dealing with the pixies, care of magical creatures class is this way. It's up to you, Harry. We can explore for a bit, or follow Neville to class. Get away from me! We've got a pixie infestation on our hands. What can we do to help? Just cast at the well to stir up the swarm. You'll have to work together to get rid of them. If you don't get all of the pixies on the first try, you can try again as often as you want. You'll learn a collector's card each time you can beat the swarm. If you can drive off every last pixie in the well, you'll learn all five cards in the set. But that's no easy feat. Prefect said we'd win all five cards in the set if we could drive all the pixies away for good. Them. The 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 Rick the Sembra, Rick the the Rick the Sembra! Rick the Sembra! Rick 
Sandra. With the 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 Sembra! 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 We did it! That's right. Fly away and good riddance. That was fantastic. Bran the Bloodthirsty. Medieval. Dates unknown lived in a castle on top of an enchanted beanstalk, apparently fond of eating bread made with ground bones and washed down with the blood of an Englishman, was slain by a boy named Jack. Cyclops, ancient Greece, dates unknown. A one-eyed giant who lived in a cave at the foot of Mount Etna, with the help of several sheep, was slain by the Greek hero Odysseus. Hengist of Upper Barnton. Fifteenth century giant killed by the famous giant slayer Gifford Ollerton. Goliath. Biblical. Dates unknown. Mercenary giant used by the Philistines in their war with the Israelites. Was slain by a young boy with a slingshot. Morholt. Ancient Celtic. Dates unknown gigantic brother of the King of Ireland, wounded Tristan, the Celtic hero, with a poisoned sword when the latter tried to kill him. doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. <laughs> Welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this turn. I'd like to introduce you to Buckbeak. He's a hippogriff. Today, you'll be learning how to ride him. You first, Harry. Just walk up to Beaky and give him a bow. You won't catch me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Buckbeak. There's a good hippogriff. Your goal is to fly through enough bats to beat the top number on the counter. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly. Just hold down the right. Just hold down the right mouse button to make me stop pressing the right mouse button when you want B yes. to stop flapping. Got it. A 
collector's card. That was really well done, Harry. Come back to the paddock any time you want another go. There's five courses to fly in all, and you can win a collector's card on each of them. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you, you great ugly brute? <laughs> I'm dying! Look at me! It's killed me! You're not dying. Do you think he'll be all right? Of course. Madam Palfrey can mend cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. Harry was very concerned about Hagrid, and with Malfoy playing up his injury, he was worried about Buckbeak too. Where'd Hermione go anyway? It's nearly time for Transfiguration class. Um, you two ready for class? Are you all right? What's happened? I'm just a bit tired, that's all. We'd better get up to the first floor, or we'll be late for Transfiguration. We could take the first floor portrait shortcut. Or go round by the stairs. You lead the way, Harry. Right. First floor, Transfiguration class. Hey, Harry! Over here! Do you collect cards? I've got a rare one for sale. Hmm, guess not. Thanks anyway. Hope we can do business later. It's Weasel, Grunge and Potty. Peeves. I don't like the look of that armour. He's locked us in! I bet we could beat him if we all cast at once. Ron, get ready to use your Carpe Retractum spell when we've worn him down. Oh, goody. Three Ickle Playmates. Ha <laughs> ha Come on, Ron! Cast Carpe Retractum armor! Nice one, Ron! You can do better than that, can't you? Use another one! Gingerly, weaselly! Carpe Retractum! Careful! Bring your stuff to the stink pellets! You've almost got him, Ron! Bring your stuff to the Carpe Retractor! Careful now! Bring the sun up! Ouch! Carpe Retractor! Not fair! You were brilliant, Rod! It's easy to be brilliant when you're scared half to death! We'd better get on to Transfiguration class. Peeves has probably made us late. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Transfiguration class. One of the most advanced Transfiguration spells enables a wizard to become an Animagus. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example... Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. 
Now for today's lesson, the Dracolifers and Lepifors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... Let's begin with the Lapifor spell, Miss Granger. Right. Lapifors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. Cast Lapifors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. Jocelyn Wadcock. 1911 to the present. Chaser for Puddlemere United Quidditch team. Record for highest number of goals during British season this century against Ballycastle Bats, 1931. Lapifor. Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. The right mouse button will make the rabbit hop. Push the forward arrow key and hold down the right mouse button for the longest jumps. Press the enter key any time you wish to stop the spell. Or simply complete the task at hand with the rabbit and the spell will stop on its own. You will find rabbit holes throughout the challenge, Miss Granger. If a hole is blocked by grass, click the left mouse button to make the rabbit chew through the vegetation. Got it! Press the left mouse button to chew through the grass. Well done. Now, take note of the mound of earth. Position the rabbit on top of the dirt and press the left mouse button to begin digging. Right. Use the left mouse button to chew or dig. Splendid, Miss Granger. Common Welsh Green Dragon. The breed is amongst the least troublesome of dragons and actively avoids humans unless provoked. Fire is issued in thin jets.
Let's move on to the Draconitor spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. Draconitors! Oh, brilliant! Now, listen closely. To proceed, you will need to use the dragon to get the fireball pick up. Then fly up and land on a platform. Finally, you must light the torch to complete this part of the challenge. Off you go, Miss Granger. Click the spacebar to make the dragon fly. Use the arrow keys to make it turn. Click the left mouse button to make the dragon breathe fire. Once he's grabbed a fireball pick, the dragon will produce one blast of flames for each pickup. Hebridean Black Dragon. Britain's other native dragon is more aggressive than its Welsh counterpart and feeds mostly on deer, though it has been known to carry off large dogs.
Hungarian Horntail Dragon. Supposedly the most dangerous of all dragon breeds, the Hungarian Horntail can breathe fire up to 50 feet. is a Bundyman. A Bundyman will expel a foul trail of slime that you will need to avoid. Ugh! It's repulsive! You can cast Richter Sempra to stun a Bundyman. Then, if you're quick enough, you can jump on top of it to see if it will produce a reward.
Romanian longhorn dragon. The horns of this breed of dragon are highly valued as potion ingredients and as a result its numbers have fallen in recent years. done, Miss Granger. You've completed the challenge. You've collected all ten challenge shields, which means... I get to go to the big bonus room. Fantastic! Wow! This is the bean bonus room! Correct, Hermione. Collect as many goodies as you can before the time runs out. Sort of dragon? Um, no. 
It's just a very small transfigured dragon. Oh, shame. You can have another go at the challenge if you like, Hermione. We can come back and do it another time. Even though the following morning was stormy and foul, Harry was excited to be playing in the first Quidditch match of the season. Played brilliantly. Until suddenly. Dementors! Oh. Harry came away from the fall without injury. But he resolved to confront his fear of the Dementors. Professor Lupin offered to help him with anti-Dementor lessons. He asked Lupin about Sirius Black, the man who had been his father's best friend and had betrayed both James and Lily to Voldemort. The professor seemed reluctant to discuss the matter. We'd better get on with your anti-Dementor lessons, Harry. Now, we obviously can't bring a real Dementor into the castle, so we'll make do with a Boggart. The Boggart will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in your case, Harry, is fear in the form of a Dementor. First, we'll practice on a target. Aim your wand at the target. Then, hold down the left mouse button to build the spell's power. You'll see a ring of light move up your arm. For a perfect cast, you must release the spell just as the ring passes over your wand. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell is Expecto Patronum. Right. Expecto Patronum! Excellent cast, Harry. Two more like that and you're ready to move on. Expecto Patronum! That's it, Harry. Just one more time. Expecto Patronum! Fantastic. Three perfect casts, Harry. You're ready for the next stage of the lesson. Explore the surrounding chambers and be ready to use the Patronus charm on a boggart. taken the shape of a Dementor to play on your fears.
this case, Boggart. The creature's presence will likely keep it from moving. Cast a perfect Patronus at a Boggart to disable it. Temporarily. Make perfect casts at each Boggart in the area before the spell has time to wear off to defeat the creatures. Expect them to harden! 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 Well done, Harry. It would seem you've mastered the spell. Brilliant! Oh, and there's a collector's card too! It was necessary to see how you do if the Dementors took you by surprise. You did brilliantly. Thank you, Professor Lupin. After the anti-Dementor lesson, Harry asked Professor Lupin if it was true that Sirius Black and Harry's father had been friends. Professor Lupin seemed disturbed by the question. He would only say that he had known Sirius once or thought he did. Ah! Scabbers is gone! And you know what I found on the floor? Cat hair! Orange cat hair! You're not suggesting Crookshanks! I just heard! They're going to execute Bugbeak because he attacked Malfoy! No! They can't! This is all Malfoy's doing! He's the one who wants to be punished! There must be something we can do! An appeal! An appeal, that's it. I'm sure I've read about a case of hippogriff baiting. We can look in the library. I'll come along, but I've had it with that monstrous cat of yours, Hermione. I wonder where Madame Pince is. Maybe Crookshank's got her too. I know she'd let us look at those books on hippogriff baiting. It's an emergency. It kept in that legal section over there, but it's locked up. There must be some other way to get up there. All right. But let's just try and do this without getting into trouble. Trouble? Who says we'll get into trouble? <laughs> Deposo! 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 See if you can find a way to get us up to that legal section, Ron. Right. Play retracting. 
Honoria Nutcombe, 1665 to 1743, founded the Society for the Reformation of Hags. Falco Isalon, ancient Greek. The first recorded example of an animagus, he could transform himself into a falcon. You and Harry, go and keep a lookout. We'll shout if Madame Pinch shows up. 